even after all these years, Weldments has to be the people's champ when it comes to favorite features. And uh, it's definitely one of my favorites. And one of the things that's really common when you're working with Weldments is that you're going to have different size structural members. So in this case, what we've got is a uh, like a three by two rectangular tube along with a two by two square tube. And where those intersect, we're going to go ahead and create a miter. And so what we're going to do is just kind of handle all our, our corner options and then put that miter in there. And because of the different size profiles, the way that the miter actually bisects equally through both of the both of the profiles kind of creates an unequal gap. But in 2021, we now have a new miter option called flush miter that allows you to really uh, easily go ahead and line both of those profiles up so that you don't have any gaps and that they line up nice and clean. It's a really easy option for making um, quick use of corners in 2021. Now, when I'm working with customers, a lot of times I like to try and uh, you know mimic their color profiles, whether it's company logos or products. And there's always been a couple of different ways that you could go in and capture um, those colors. So if I was going to do something for Square Robot, I might go check out their website, learn a little, little bit about their products and check out their color scheme. And then when it comes time to go ahead and apply appearance to a model that I'm creating for them, I'm going to go ahead and kind of choose through these colors, which can be a little bit of a guessing game. But now we can actually use the eyedropper to go outside of SolidWorks and pick a color so I can really easily match their company color scheme from the website to one of the products that we're gonna design for them. So I really like this option for accurately uh, snagging colors. You know, I'm not a big uh, creative guy when it comes to appearances and color schemes and, uh, and things like that. So for me, being able to just go in and, and pick out schemes that a company already uses with just a couple clicks is a really convenient feature in the latest release of SolidWorks. Documenting information about our designs is always really important as well, and that's never more true than when you're collaborating. So I really like to use custom properties, and if I wanted to do something like a cost estimate as a custom property, I would just go in here and give that property a new name. But oftentimes a cost estimate would require some sort of a calculation, and that's actually now going to be really easy in 2021 because we can utilize equations to, uh, to basically go in and, and in real time build an equation directly in a custom property. So we can take uh, things like global variables, functions, uh, properties, and use operators between those items to derive a cost. We can also do something very similar inside of cut list items. So if we wanted to go into our cut list and specify some cut list item properties using an equation, we could do that. So if I wanted to try and find the total uh, length of all four plates at each of the corners on this weldment structure, I would just go ahead and define a cut list property of total length for the name. And then we'll just go ahead and choose that equation option again. And we can essentially take the, uh, the quantity of each plate and then just multiply that by the, uh, the bounding box length. And it's just going to go ahead and do the math for us. So if you're looking for ways to document information about your designs, check out the option for using equations in custom properties and cut list items.